Once again, the set is up and we are ready to do a date with Danu. I have some fabulous guests on the show, talented, good looking and so much more. Let's get on with the show. He quit his full-time job after he sang Kuwaini. Is it a right move? Let's speak more with our first guest on the show, Ridma. Hi, I'm Ridma Iradhana. I'm a musician, a performing artist, a recording artist, uh, and few other things as well, and you'll find out today. Uh, so, I am here today uh, to go on a date with Danu. I am super excited to be here and also nervous. I don't know what I will uh, be asked and what kind of situation I will be put into. Uh, but I have seen the program and I have I've enjoyed it, I have loved it. I uh, have seen a few episodes here and there and uh, I am excited, nervous and looking forward to it. Danu, hmm, what do I say about him? Uh, well, I call him Karan Johar of Sri Lanka. Uh, and he's a very bubbly character who talks non-stop. Uh, like, he doesn't make sense at all, most of the time. And uh, so, I, I don't know what I'm in for today, so, yeah. I'm sure you know this song. I was not going to sing it, but anyway. That's the person. Hi. Hello, Danu. Uh, are you feeling all formal? Uh, I don't know. I'm really confused. <laughs> yes, I, that I can see. Uh, so I, I had a bit of a wardrobe uh, malfunction. And uh, when you book Ritma for a show, please give him fake times. Because he never gets here on time. Uh, he was one hour late for this show. And also, I forgot to bring my socks. And he was kind enough to buy me socks, which are sports socks. What? Can I? Yeah. I got late because I had I went I went all the way to uh, Ani, you yeah. know, buy. You went next door here. Uh, so it's all right. So Ritma, this shift and a decision to make entertainment your full time, how was it? Scary at first. Uh, it 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 is it it was very scary uh, when I made the decision and I was going back and forth, uh, but. Now I'm very glad that I made the decision and I think that is hands down the right decision that I uh, made for my career, uh, for but music career. Have you always thought that you will one day land on this particular platform? Uh, that I'm not really sure about though because uh, at different points of my life, like there has been points where, you know, uh, I myself have wanted to be in this you know, to get into the industry and do music and stuff. And then there, uh, due to certain things, the, I have kind of taken a step back and I've been like, no, I don't think so. And uh, yeah, so it has been a roller coaster. different. Uh, I, I can't definitely say that I definitely wanted to be here. Mm. So, yeah. As our next guest on the show, we have one person who has really tried in giving Ridma a look, <laughs> failed. But uh, it really worked with me uh, because I give her all credit to the way I put my wardrobe together. And I think she's, uh, she's definitely a breath of fresh air into men's fashion in our country. I'm happy to have Samman. Hi, I'm Sammani um, and I'm the owner of Olive Couture and I'm the designer too and we men do men's wear and ladies evening wear. So I'm here to go on a date with Danu and I'm excited about it. Date with Danu is a show that I'm always watching and um, it's Dano makes it fun and uh, sticky too and um, so I hope he will not put me in trouble today. So 
also Danu. Um, he's interesting, but then again, uh, a bit too loud on the show, and um, yeah, a bit too uh, nosy as well at times. And uh, he's the most conscious person ever, and I'm sure that he wants to look the best uh, in the show. Like probably like he would ask us to uh, look bad and for him to look good. So yeah, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> She barely took any space on this couch. <laughs> Hi, Samani. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> so, Samani is known for her brand Olive Couture. Uh, a lot of people say it in different ways, right? Yeah. I actually don't know the correct way of saying it because it's French. You should know by now. It's Couture. 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 Yeah. That's the problem. So, I don't want to massacre, and I know you don't know the amount of people who write to me saying that you, you are killing the queen. You, I am not married to the queen, <laughs> meant to kill her. This is all I can speak. English is my. Second language. Same. Yeah, so so we, can, yeah. we can speak the way we want to know. Yeah. Anyway, that's fine. So, uh, Samani, why did you find a name that not everyone can say? Um, why couldn't you just call it Olive? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> then it's just going to be a food brand. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, <laughs> it has to have that Katua. But why feel Olive? To it. Olive, uh, I always liked the leaf olive. Ah, okay. And I designed the logo first okay. and then came up with the, the name. Oh, yeah. wow, that's, that's Which is great. interesting. It shouldn't be the case, but yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Samani, today she's wearing a, a design that is uh, quite um, personal and unique. It's her own creation, which was made in two hours. Do you always slave drive your stuff like this? Um, <laughs> well, sometimes when it comes to my stuff, yes. Yeah, okay. Al always last minute. Yeah. So, yeah. Samani, is the one who sort of gave me like a look and feel that sort of goes with me and she was the first person who ever introduced me to like floral shirts and floral even before it started becoming trending. trending. Yeah. Uh, why men's fashion? Um, I think I can look at it differently. Being a female I think we know what looks good on men. Like I think we should be the judge of it. <laughs> Not Any men. of the men in your life have they appreciated you judging them and giving them a look? Yeah. Really? <laughs> She's seated with you. Yeah. Yeah, no, like in her life, like family, yeah. close relatives. I think, yeah. Okay. They appreciate it. All right. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Let's get into a break. On the other side, we are going to complete this uh, guest list. Do stick around. It's a date with Danu right here on High TV. <laughs> From the runway to sarongs, now to floral shirts. This man has been a part of the fashion world for quite some time and is uh, one of uh, Sammani's favorite models after me. I'm happy to have Adrian. Hi, um, most people know me um, as a model. For the longest time I was in the modeling industry, but uh, I think after that I started getting behind the scenes of like clothing brands. So I work with uh, Lovi Sarongs for quite a while, so some people know me as that. Uh, as well as now I own my own clothing brand called La Ceylone. So I'm uh, known around Columbo for, Columbo for like the person who owns La Ceylone. Uh, so I'm here to go on a date with Danu. I'm actually a fan of uh, Danu's program, so I, whenever I have the time, I try to catch up to them. Uh, Date with Danu is one of the more hilarious ones because uh, I like how you know he puts people uh, in the hot seat and you know like make it a little uncomfortable for them. But today I'm a little worried because I'm in this position of that hot seat. The most iconic thing about Danu is his uh, laugh that you know you can hear from like a mile away. When you want to find Danu at a party, you follow the laugh. So he um, he thinks he's very sexy, but uh, sometimes you know he pulls off like the most ridiculous outfits. But we are all very nice about it to him because uh, one thing Danu is tall and pretty big, so we don't want to get uh, you know hit by him and moved away. But uh, more than that, he's such a lovely soul, so we're all nice to him. But uh, Sometimes he does uh, some ridiculous things. 
Welcome back to the show. So I have Adrian, one of the co-founders of the brand uh, Last the Lawn, which is trending very much in Sri Lanka and it has gone global as well. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, thank you. How does it feel for you to be the second favorite model of uh, Sammani? Uh, I think it's the other way around, right, Sammani? Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> how but, does it uh, feel? It's okay. I'm only second to you, no? So uh, yeah, and also we are different in sizes, so. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Plus. Obviously. No, Nobody asked for a no, plus in there. <laughs> <laughs> Quite obvious, no? Yeah, yeah. That's uh -huh. fine. Uh, can, uh, can look nice from afar. Me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. From afar. <laughs> so, Adrian, how has it been? Like, what took you into this world of fashion? I don't know. I got dragged into it. Like, everyone asked me, how did you plot and become this model? But it wasn't like that. It was... Did uh, you ever wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I'm just, <laughs> gorgeous face? I wish, Thank I you. wish. I was the most, <laughs> like... I, I would say, you know, I was that boy with, like, you know, who would just go to the gym, who would wear gym shorts, and, like, I really had no clue. I, I was the guy who didn't even, like, bother about products and stuff like that. So, I met someone that was in the modeling industry and went to a shoot behind the scenes. And uh, Roseanne Dias is the one who actually called me up for a shoot, and that's how it started. Wow, that's amazing. Huh, that's great. But uh, you used to be a very buff, huge guy. Yeah, at a certain point. Like I said, I was a gym rat for us. And now you have given up on that phase. Uh, I work out, but uh, then again, I thought, you know, when you're, when you're like too muscly also, unless it's for a profession, doesn't make sense, you know. It's yeah, a little bit of uh, you have to control. Can't even scratch the back if you want to. It's can't like can't give, a, give up the food and um, also the clothes are very hard to fit to. So yeah. Great. Let's get into one word. It's uh, time to like play a little game, win some prizes. Uh, let's keep the show going. Three, two, one, one word. <laughs> All right, and it's time for you to win a gift. All right, now you all have your whistles. Now blow and show me. Well it done, Britma. <laughs> Such a pro you are. Know, right? <laughs> from here. Oh, from deep down under. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's oh get on to the show. <laughs> the guy from. Show. Okay, so this is how it works. I ask 10 questions. Okay. Hmm. There are no right or wrong answers. Whoever gets in the answer first locks the answer with a whistle. Then you get a point. So you have to say the answer and then whistle. Then Correct. whistle. Uh, okay. So let's say I ask you, uh, what do you like to drink? And you say coffee, that's it, we move on. If you are late, you're out. Coffee and whistle. Yeah, means whoever locks in the answer first. So is this general knowledge or just like just rubbish? Just don't, now, now don't <laughs> think about it so much now. Ah, okay. Okay, ready? You all have to be quick. Do you all know how quick works? Yeah. Hmm. Right. What's your favorite childhood book? Hollywood. Uh, Radiant Way. <laughs> Hollywood Radiant Way. I said it first. I said it first. You all are all terrible. Stop I just whistling. No, no, no. I, I said Radiant Way and then I whistled, okay? Ritma, you get a point. Hmm. What's the greatest book you have read recently? Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Do you feel like a leader or a follower? Leader. <laughs> What's the most courageous thing you've ever done? Starting my own label. What has been your favorite <laughs> family vacation? Uh, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I, I, I keep my finger here. That's not valid. Who is the no, funniest person you know? Huh? Who? We didn't hear. Who is the funniest person? Danu, Danu! I didn't say that. Danu, Danu! Danu, Do you ever talk to yourself? Yes. 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 When you're having a bad day, what do you do to make yourself feel Sleep. better? Drink. <laughs> I answered. What's your I couldn't say what I do. Uh, What's sorry? your favorite time of the day? Night. Evening. Evening. Cake or pie? Cake. 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 <laughs> I think Ritma won. Oh, yeah. Oh, I answered Because he locked in more answers. You were just whistling. No, I answered it <laughs> They can be the judge. We can replay and see. We, it's okay, we Ritma, share, I'm right? giving you yeah. a gift yeah. because I choose you. He's anyway is going to give me. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay, that's for you. Will, I, will I use person. that though? You can actually deal with British culture because you need it more than all of us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. No problem. <laughs> Let's get into a break. We'll see you right after this. Mm.
So now that Sammani was complaining, saying that I should have won, uh, I decided to play another game and it's called Charades. Get your acting skills out. Let's play Charades! Oh. Alright, so are you ready now? Yes, yes. You have to bring out your acting skills, bring the A game on. If I guess it, that means you are the winner. Okay. If you do, if I don't guess it, that means you're a terrible Tough actor. fact to follow, these both are like, you know, performance artists. <sighs> so Adrian goes first, right? Yeah. Oh my god, how do I even... Um, can I show things? Yeah, 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 yeah. you so, can't talk, you have to just okay. show. TV, wood, room, building, building blocks, glass. Building, sand castle. Touch me. Oh my can God! You, can you go? Are you? How do I? China. How do I? It's fine. You do you this. Have to first, <laughs> you have to first break the then syllables. Then he would he would say something else like <laughs> in the current yeah. situation. Rhythm. Bulbs. Little birds. Sky. <laughs> Stars. Star. Star. Blinking star, star, singing star, <laughs> starry eye surprise. You got it. Stars, blinking, stars, big stars. <laughs> what star? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fighting star, falling star, <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, twinkle star. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Are you trying to sing also here? <laughs> Are you that's easy? Dungeon. <laughs> Dancing. Weightlifting. Me. A house. What is this? You are dancing in a house. I am dancing in a house. Lifting. Power lifting. <laughs> You're running. What are you doing? Okay, there's a house. G? Yeah. You know what you did? You know what someone did? This. <laughs> what does that even mean? That's not mine. <laughs> no, you actually did. No. Can you please look at the replay? No. no. She did this. This. Jim. What the hell? You're very bad You're at bad this game. You're terrible at it. We are like pros in this. Excuse yeah. me. I don't even work out, but I still did it. <laughs> Is that how you work out? <laughs> no, that's, that's walking. How much can you do sitting on this couch? That's all you should have done. Yeah. Mm. That's how you do it. I, I can yeah, just She did it. the way she does it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I really don't know where that went. All right. Now let's talk now, okay? So, um, Ridma, how is the music career in Sri Lanka? Is it profitable? Uh, well, first of all, I don't think anyone who wants to be, uh, uh, you know, to earn profits or anything would join the, uh, the music industry as such. But there are opportunities, there are nice opportunities, there are, and it comes during a particular frame of, fra frame of time. Uh, but some people have sustained for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's again, I think it's a gamble. It's a gamble. It, if it works, it does. If I mean, it's a lot of struggle and I don't think those people have come to wherever they are uh, just overnight. They've come with a lot of hard work. So mm -hmm. same, I think, uh, like you have to establish your uh, your name and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's, still, it's, it's a big gamble. Uh, Samani, women in this fashion industry, because very rarely is there actually a casting couch for, I think more than women, there's a casting couch for men in the, in the Colombo scene. Yeah. How, how was this to get into this and how supportive were your parents to like? Uh, yeah, my parents were very supportive. Like from the time I wanted to be a designer, like they were very supportive and like they didn't ask me to be this and that. So, so they never asked you to like only design for girls and all? No. They, they like, were happy ahead. with my choice, yeah. So uh, they appreciated whatever I did and uh, yeah, so they just gave me 100% freedom to do whatever. Now, uh, Adrian, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, 
you have stopped modeling now, but you are trying to get back into it as well. <laughs> Why did you like give up all of a sudden? You are tired of the industry? No, no, I, I kind of actually retired from the modeling industry because I've been, been a model since I was 18 years old. So altogether eight years of modeling. And um, no, just what, 20? 27 now. 18. Okay, right. So, um, <laughs> eight years of a career, and then I was like, um, enough, you know, like, because either you keep doing whatever the, is there, or I'm very happy with the modeling career I had. I mean, I still do shoots, but uh, very selectively, you know, like, I still recently I walked for a show, but again, it depends on who the person is, and, but I'm not an official model. But is there scope for a male model in this country? I think there is. I mean, it depends on you. I, I, I always, Me? like, <laughs> as, as, <laughs> so much of course, of yeah. for you today. <laughs> it depends on, I think, yourself, how you portray, what work you pick. And uh, it's common for anyone, any industry also, right? But so. I feel that male models in our country are very well toned and they look after themselves a little bit more. More I think. than, yeah. De yeah. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. And it's tough. Uh, the male modeling industry is tough. One of the reasons I wanted to stop was also because uh, uh, it was getting tired, the diet and uh, the workouts, uh, regular workouts. But yeah, there are so, some men who are like really dedicated to this. So I think it is a tough industry. Let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> The guests on the show have been just quite relaxed. They thought this show is going to go easy. Now is where the juice begins. <laughs> All right, it's time to ask those questions. Um, Y'all can pick who you who do you want me to start with. Um, start with Samani. Let's think, start you know? with the lady. Ladies, Ladies first. Lady. Yeah. All right, Samani. Your first question. Intia's designers, Hamidia, Namal Balachandra. Who would you pick to dress your future husband if you're not into your own brand? Uh, Intia's? <laughs> okay. Who has been your favorite to dress so far? Rank them according to your favorite. Rohita Rajapaksa, Namal Rajapaksa, Danu, Harin Fernando. Um, Danu. Number one? Oh. Nama. Mm. Rohita. Mm. And Harin. Okay. Roshan Ranavana, Hemal Saranga. Who needs your fashion help immediately? Um, <laughs> so you have select the other um, one. Saranga. Okay. Kiss, kill, marry, or throw out of the plane? In the Kishu Gomez. Ridma Otara. Kishu Gomez. You'll kill Kishu Gomez. Yeah. Okay. Who would you kiss? I'll kiss Indi. <laughs> you'll kiss Indi. Who would you marry? Obviously, I can't get married to Otara, so Ridma. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to throw Otara out of the plane. Yeah. Um, that's the only option. I'm <laughs> right. If you could time travel, where would you go? At uni, I like that period, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Adrian. Your thoughts on homosexuality in Sri Lanka? Well, I think uh, I, I don't see the problem, you know, like I think uh, equality should be given to everyone. There's so many friends who are my friends that have gone through like tough times uh, because of they couldn't come out and I think uh, they should uh, legalize uh, gay marriage in Sri Lanka and I think I, I, my, op my views about that is like uh, love is love, you know, so. All right. If you could dress the parliament, what would you pick for them? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would actually put them in like, you know, their designated colors and, uh, you know. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Like, so we know what party they belong to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Some can be in rainbow so, colors. Some can be <laughs> multi-colors. <laughs> multi <laughs> like all over. No, no, no. The, the pocket can be one color, the shirt can be another. Uh, when when they're transitioning, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Brian Kirkoven, Senaka, Roseanne Dyers. Who is your favorite choreographer and why? Uh, Roseanne Dias, because she's so friendly and easy to work with. Would you join the agency as a model or as a talent? Yes, no. I, I was a model at the agency for a long time, so I will join them as a model. Your all-time favorite Miss Sri Lanka? 
and why? Onela Nadika Pereira, Christina Plate. Onela, such a sweet person. Ridma. Bhatia Iraj Billy Fernando. Who would you not collaborate with and why? <laughs> oh God. Uh, well, if I if I had to choose. You have to choose now. I've asked your question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I would go with I think uh, uh, Iraj, but I'm I'm not saying uh, you know that. You're just digging the hole a bit deeper now. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, because of the uh, the content uh, that has come out lately of his. Okay. So I wouldn't going by the content simply, not the ones he has done before, but as of late. Okay. okay. Your favorite wedding band, Doctor, Kurumba, Misty, Black. Rank them. Doctor. Uh. uh Kurumba. Uh, There's Misty, Misty and Black. Misty Black. Okay. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, never mind. Doctor Kurumba, Misty Black. Okay. Let's keep it up there. Rank them according to your preferred vo vocals. Umara, Ashanti, Umaria, Raini. Umaria, Umara, uh, and Ashanti and Raini are tie. If you had to sing a song about me. <laughs> What would your title be? The title will be Mama. <laughs> about you? No, about, about you. me. Because you're full of yourself. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if your house was on fire and if you could only save one person at a time, what? who would you How save? How serious is this? What? <laughs> Mother, father, sibling, pet, laptop. How can I choose between my family and like laptop? No, <laughs> <laughs> no laptop is out of the question. Okay. I, will, I will try to save my family. I mean, come on, don't mother, ask. father, sibling, pet. Siblings are energetic enough; they can jump out. Uh, I guess. Uh, well, my mother is someone who will run out, run out as soon as this happens. So my father, I, I think. Ah. Yeah. Thanks. That was not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into more things now. It's time for Sticky City. Sticky City. Some money. Uh, marriage is on the cards anytime soon? Well, I guess so, yeah. You have always been a girl who wanted to like have that fairy tale wedding. Fairy tale. Has reduced now to a tale. <laughs> yeah, I, no, something simple and elegant. Okay. Yeah. Have you been lucky Not, with love? Um. Well, right now, yes, but um, earlier maybe not. <laughs> what is your definition about a relationship? Do you like when the man takes control, or do you like it to be an equal partnership? Not equal per se, but. Um, I like when they are sometimes a bit positive, but then again, not too much. Um, I like when they're supportive, and uh, especially uh, when I'm into men's van stuff, like he has to be understanding. So I think I'm now fortunate enough to have found somebody who is very supportive. So, yeah. so the bells will ring soon. Yes, let's see. Yeah, it will. <laughs> All right, so Adrian, <laughs> in this industry, being a model means you, people tend to look at you as something that they can approach really fast. Hmm. Uh, do you feel that you get approached by people who are in the industry or who are not in the industry? Are you asking me whether I get approached by the, which part I'm getting approached by? Yes. Uh, not not that way. I mean, there's no such thing, but uh, maybe people in the industry when I started, but... Uh, not Has anyone point blank asked you to like sleep with them so they'll get you some work? Not point blank. Okay. Yeah. For, I've been fortunate enough to like not, uh, you know, go through that, but... Have you got pictures on your phone? Like just uh, messages? Messages? Not in a bad way though. I, I've been fortunate enough to like, you know, there have been some kachal situations, but uh, not as bad as what I've heard. Okay. How did you get out the hook? 
I don't know. I've been pretty straight up with people, and you know, I, I was also not desperate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah. So rhythm. Yeah. Um. No, nobody has approached me. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is actually not a sticky question, but it's a question that I wanted to speak to you about. So the reason I got to know rhythm is uh, through. Uh, someone who passed away recently and that's uh, Imran. Uh, actually that's the connection for Sammani and Ridma as well. Um, tell me about your friendship with uh, Imran because you all have gone, visited the world, he has been, it was, he's the one who made me first ever listen to Ridma Singh, uh, a recording. Tell me about your friendship. What I, whatever I am today, I owe him a big chunk of it uh, because he's the one Hands down, he's the one who kind of pushed me to a level where, I, I mean, he kind of dragged me to studios and got me to record. He forwarded me links to, you know, competitions and got me to somehow take part. That's how I met Charita and Ranil Gunawardena and that's how all these songs also came up. So, uh, I mean, I owe him big time. I am sure he's still watching over and... Uh, and also, he was just not a friend. He was a, a, a lot of things. He was an inspiration for I mean, everybody. I think, I mean, just, he was a, he was jack of all trades. That's what I used to call him and he hated that. Hmm. But uh, he did so many things. He was a photographer. He was a dance choreographer. He was a consultant. He was, he was, a, he was, yeah, he kind of composed also at some point. So he was, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he would try out anything. And uh, yeah, so he was a huge, he had a huge impact. On me, on so I everyone, right? everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody, and that's how we met. And I call this season two because when he was there, I was season one. one. And you know, I can't remember how that time was. And I mean, I do can remember. I can't relate to how I lived that that, that life because that was completely different and a different pace. Yeah. Mm. So great. Uh, just wanted to connect the dots there a little bit. Right now, let's get into our final game so that Sammani can win something. Do you hear <laughs> what I say? Do you hear what I say? So Rhythma really likes this game. You watch this. I've seen it here and there and I watch it on your show also. Oh, okay. Alright, so you walk away with this freshly baked goodie. It's coming mm. to you from Brownies, Cookies and Cakes. Ready? Samani, I really wish you'll win. <laughs> Better. Put your headphones on. <laughs> Very loud music. What's the music? Can you hear me? But you're saying no. I can read your lips. Ah, really? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I bet you look good on the dance floor. Come again. <laughs> I bet you look good on the dance floor. I met you through again. I bet you look good on the dance floor. I met you on the dance floor. Mm. And? I met you on the dance floor and... And? And danced. <laughs> okay. Uh, very close. 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 Mm -hmm. What was it? Not enough, I think. Sound. I bet you look good no, on the dance she, floor. She got like oh. almost... 85% correct. Met and bet is just almost yeah. the same. And look, you know, like you can't, like you can't look. really, you know, yeah. read your lips. Like That's the whole point. Ridma, yeah. do you now? Oh my god. You shocked me all night long. <laughs> all night long? You, uh, I? <laughs> you shocked me all night long. You dropped me all <laughs> night long. <laughs> you shocked me all night long. You shocked me all night long. You... You, you is correct. You blank me all night long. <laughs> you, uh, don't uh, get it right. You talk, no, you talk to me, no. You drop me. Can I disturb you so that I can win? Say it again, say it again, say it again. You shock me all night long. You shock me all night long. Ah, shock me! Oh my god! Hey. Whoa. Was it correct? correct. Yeah. You oh shocked me all night long! Oh my god! Ritma, well done. Right now you are leading. Uh, over to you. Thank you, thank you. 
It was a dark night when I first met you. I was drunk when I first met you. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably your life story. <laughs> it was a dark night when I first met you. It was dark when I first met you. Oh. <laughs> One more chance. It was a dark night when I first met you. It was nice to first meet you. <laughs> it was a dark night when I first met you. You were lucky to first meet me. <laughs> You're getting worse. You All right. You were there. You were always there. Really? Yeah. It was a dark night when I first met you. Wow. You were there. Yeah. But with my other Did we get another round? Oh my god. There you go. Please pass but this over to me. I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will, let's share this. Yeah. yeah. Let's, can we hold this together now? What do you think? Yeah. This is the trophy? It's not the World Cup that we're doing? We no, I mean, it's in pieces, so we can, yeah, we can share. Can you can share. share if you want. Can I take this? What the headphone? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a date with Donna. When you want to get the world to see what you're doing, you need to make sure that these people just go ahead and post what's happening on the show. It's time to update their social media. All right, so while you all are updating your social media, Ridma, why aren't you posting something for me? I did. Can you all tag me because I want to also like get a screenshot of it. Okay, only Adrian has tagged me so far. So I somebody, have, I have tagged you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, mm. in this future of Olive, what do you hope to do? Um, I would like to uh, take it international. Did you think that you'll be, dress you'll be dressing so many people in our country? Uh, at the start? Uh, no, but I always had the dream of dressing some, like, uh, some celebrities in Sri Lanka and internationally as well. And, um, one day, my dream will be achieved when I dress David Beckham. David Beckham? Yeah, that's <laughs> a bit of Fine. a... Yeah. <laughs> Fine, all the Beckhams here are just... <laughs> he has great style. And I can, my brand can relate to his sort of... Uh, hello. <laughs> we, are, we are to the... Yeah. He, he threw out from the plane. <laughs> yes. Y'all are equal. Gracefully thrown out. Yeah. Like local, yeah. locally, yeah. Ah, Beckham. Yeah, Beckham equals. Local Beckhams. We are yeah. Beckhams. <laughs> ah, you're uh, Yeah. Yeah. But... Uh, you're getting close to that. <laughs> <laughs> the Thanks. Mustache. It's like I've eaten Beckham. Vertically, yeah. vertically. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. It's like I've eaten Beckham. Yeah. Um, Ridma, yeah. in this... Like, you studied and you qualified and all those stuff to like literally carry on in this career path of yours, no? When you decided to quit, what did your boss say? <laughs> well, I think uh, it came to a point that he also understood that and I was you were struggling. Never at work. <laughs> <laughs> that also true. Yeah. Because I was struggling because I, w I had uh, even at during, I, I quit last, uh, in 2019, uh, last May. So, I, and I was still doing gigs and I had practices, so I had late night practices mm. or whatever and then I'd come really tired and, uh, you know, stuff like that when I come to work. So he also kind of understood and he could jolly well, you know, say, yes, I understand and uh, let's kind of, yeah, move on. <laughs> Did your friends ever think that you become what you are today, like known? I don't think so. I, I mean, some people, yes. Like, for example, Imran always kind of envisioned that he had more confidence in me than I did mm. of myself. But there are some other friends who I don't think they uh, thought, uh, you, know, you know, that this day would come. Um, thanks, Adrian. I want to see what you have written, but anyway, that's secondary. <laughs> uh, you have created this brand called La Salon, and there are so many who have soon followed after that. Um, so you and uh, Razin together. When you all came up with this, you know, there was a time when flower power was such a big thing. And you all brought this flower power back. Did you do you, do you enjoy the the rave it has created? Like with so many people following you all, and yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. I mean, <laughs> the way people have like kind of taken it because it was I really wanted to create something for a unique, like a small set of people, you know, because 
Floral shirts, though, have, though they have been around the world, you know, Sri Lankans are not like... Not and the, we are like the... We should be the country that wears more and more yeah. floral. Comfortability-wise, yeah. yeah. Comfortability-wise, yeah. yes. But Sri Lankan men are very hesitant to wear colours, you yeah. know. So, uh, I'm surprised how it kind of got there, you know. Like, and everyone's now wearing floral shirts. So. And like even pink shirts. Yeah. Yeah, we, the, like the pink that yeah. you have. We are pushing the limit every time, you know, like making it as florally as possible and seeing how it goes, you know. Yeah. I love that pink yes. shirt. Oh my god. I have a pink shirt, mm. which is quite pink. Yeah. Let's put it this way. Quite it's pink? It's very That's pink. Not very pink. It so to I was me. trying to explain to her what pink it could be. Yeah. Then and I that starts with a P too. <laughs> Is it one of our shirts? No. No, no. it's another shirt, but I didn't he know how He used to another P word to describe the pink. Heavy <laughs> <laughs> well, and you're wearing that also. Oh said, my god. It's as pink as that. <laughs> I said someone just visualize it and see. Uh, no. <laughs> I think you should wear a pink suit. <laughs> yeah, actually, oh, you, you won't be it. I actually thought about it today. I will. Hot see, pink. Hot pink. No, <laughs> I would like to wear. <laughs> Let's get into what's on your Facebook because I sort of did some digging. All right, it's time to see what's on your Facebook and did some digging. And this is what I was able to find. Ridma, you're a very good dancer. You always had rhythm. I like to believe so. <laughs> <laughs> that's not real, cute. that's swag. <laughs> Darling, I don't know what this is. You're trying to imitate Cleopatra. That's cute, though. It's a cute picture. Oh, thanks. Please tell me about this. Do you remember? Do you know what parents have? I have no have... clue. I've seen that. Or like my all, like my, my father had no, I just apparently know. had a camera right throughout like our childhood. There are so many photos of the three of us, the three siblings. Yeah. So I think that's one of the, yeah. Uh, Someone would give this to him. Oh, we can have this? Yeah, you can have this. Uh, can you sign uh, on this? I will definitely sign and give you. Sammani, when did you figure out how you wanted to look? The look for you? Took some time, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look so fat there. I thought I hid that one. One of her bathroom selfies. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Why you're, you're shy. <laughs> Looking down, sir. Look at that hair banner and it's a nice pink t-shirt. Yeah. It's a pink. It doesn't look that bad. It's a t-shirt. It's just good for the 90s. I look yeah. fat. Yeah. But then there is this that tops it all up. Oh. When you go on trips, you really have to dress bad, no? Just to oh go with God, the flow. Oh my God, the jacket. <laughs> oh my God. Why? Where did you all go? Canada? That, that's in Melbourne. Uh, it was it cold? Birds Park. It was, was it? cold, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> is your mom wearing... Ah, that's a bird, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, your mom wearing a bird? <laughs> your mom is actually wearing a bird. So, Adrian. <laughs> that's actually a bird. Yeah. I actually couldn't find anything that mm, was atrocious on your Facebook page. It's very curated. It's very Why is that? I like to keep. Please, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just like Beckham looking ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was when I started the. Started, this was one of my very first portfolio shoots that I did when I cut down for. High fashion modeling. Uh, similar to my body, actually. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Very, 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 very much. much. You, can get, you are here to pass these pictures, Amani. What is this? Tell me, who are these people? Justin Weeb. Oh, shoot. Oh, my, oh, my, uh, uh, my, uh, this is, these are the people that I grew up with, pretty much. These are all your like cousins? My not my cousins, though. My nephews, most of them. Nephews? Yeah. My really? What's the age gap? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, some of them are older to me also, but they're still my nephews. You know, those, I'm those one of days. those are a yeah, big... Yeah, those days, uh, yeah. yeah. So today, Ritma tried to steal the bathrobe from, our, from this hotel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe to do this photo shoot, no? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you went short of clothes. <laughs> This is a photo shoot done for a, from Sound of Music. Uh, it's a knitwear designer. So it's actually an outfit. Yes, yes. It's a very. I'm surprised that you haven't worn it. <laughs> I have worn, this would look good the, on you. Even the bathrobe doesn't fit me, man. I have problems like that. I've always wondered how people uh, like walk walk around with that's wearing my, something. That's one of my favorite pictures. Uh, yeah, have to bring. Uh, if Imran was around, he would have wanted to be on this show. 
Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Exactly. And he would have ruled this show, which is... You wouldn't, yeah. There would I would have never no got chance of you too. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It's another picture of you and Rid, uh, Imran and Ridma. Yeah, that was in Amsterdam. Why do you always just, you know, have the hands wide open in all your foreign pictures? What? Like, all your pictures are like this. No, that's ah, because... Very that, that is all the jumping pictures yeah. and that's why it's, so automatically it goes. Right, so this right, is right, a, right, uh, right. It's a pose. Uh, so, Samman, you also starred in a music video. Uh, Samsarini. <laughs> yeah. Your favorite song? Yes, right? actually. Yeah. Uh, but Ritma, why didn't you want her and me to no, start your next yeah. video? <coughs> next video, definitely. Would oh. you s have me as well? Yeah, yeah. It's about child abuse. What? <laughs> what? What? What is it about? For child real? <laughs> no, that was already <laughs> done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Oh, Sushmita Sen. Yeah, I know her. Well, where did you meet? I need this to tell is, the story uh, about this. This is in uh, Mumbai. Um. We went to. That was also Imran and I think. Uh, we went to see uh, uh, a movie mm. and then she was also there and I was like, I was very sure it was her and... Uh, was she friendly? She was really super friendly and okay. she was, yeah. She I, was didn't touch, I didn't wash my hands after like... What? Huh? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I don't think now she Shushmita likes you. Uh, you didn't want to. I, I don't think Shushmita likes you out. <laughs> <laughs> Whose curtain did you all cut? Who's that? It's uh, that's my family uh, the that's Diniti, my <laughs> sister and again my uh, two my two of my name is Jeta and Banu who I grew up with so yeah so we were the three musketeers so we used to dress up so like the same and worn floral shirts back, back in the, the days so oh, we were very fashionable, fashionable. in what the 90s you, what happened to you now Ritpa? <laughs> I <Sure>. met you <laughs> <laughs> these are the pictures that you can keep this one of I took for you. Uh, this oh, is that's of you, Ritma. And that's that's on me. That's me. That's you. That's me and my brother. Oh, really? I yeah. forgot that it that might be you. And this <laughs> is um, the Sam, three. myself, and Ivan. Yeah. I had to show a picture of Sam, who is also a very close yes. friend of Ritma. Otherwise, Cookies. I might be assassinated outside. <laughs> Um, Adrian, I'm sorry, your Facebook is too clean for yeah, me to yeah. find anything. That's the whole there's point. Nothing. Mm. There's Shall we nothing. Do some digging? You should have asked. No, there's me. nothing on Adrian. You nothing. should have just called my friends. All your pictures are filtered. And I thought I cleared so mine like also. A, like, a, like a professional kind of very Facebook and then private one separate? No. You know? no, no, no. It's just that one Facebook, it's just very pretty. Yeah. Uh, Adrian, how good are you in handling alcohol? Do you remember things that happened during the time that you are intoxicated? Uh, not really. I've Sometimes. spoken to a girl who you have flirted with. It could be, yeah, yeah. So, so many. Quite intense, I was told you are. No, I'm very friendly, you know. <laughs> too, <laughs> too friendly. <laughs> Must have been some time ago, you know. And now you have calmed down, you have become a mature boy now. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We all go through that. I do yeah. all the wrong things. All right, we need to wrap things up on the show. Guys, before we say goodbye, uh, Sammani, thank you so very much for being here. I'm so happy that I had you. Uh, very talented, can draw, can dance, can design, uh, very capable, and I'm so proud to see what she has done with her life uh, in the past few years. And uh, thanks for creating a look and feel that not only me, there are so many people, when you walk into like a fashion show, you at least have 30% dressed by Samman, which is, mm -hmm. which is such a great reward. I think that's, that speaks more volume than actually seeing your creation on the runway. Yeah. Um, that's because, my satisfaction. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ridma, more money. <laughs> I think one of the most talented singers today and one of the nicest people I know as well, uh, which is, uh, you don't hang out with me because I'm not cool for you, but it, uh, just wanted to You're say that. You are too busy. No, uh, please. Yeah. Talking to uh, people. But just amazing. But I can't wait for your next music video because I want to star in yeah. it. Sure, definitely. Uh, but keep going. I really hope there are more and more Queeny successes. Like not only Queeny, I'm like more. God, I don't know how to say. So this. do you give a chance for us to also say something appreciative about you? You can if you want to, Adrian. Later. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Absolutely right. amazing. Love how he is very. Uh, what can I say? Focused on creating a brand that is quite Sri Lankan and worldwide. Thank you for being on the show. We need to wrap things up. We will see you with another episode of Date with Dhanu. Bye.